I'm Max Sterling. Welcome to LARP Mix. Looks like I spent too long in here eating my cake. It's starting to get dark. And there's no way with them out there that I can go outside after dark. I'm probably going to have to stay in here and scavenge around and see what I can find. It's going to be dark though. I'm going to need some light if I'm going to be picking through the stuff in here trying to stay quiet. I better make a lamp. Um, let's see, I'm gonna need a couple things. Shoelace. Where is that fire alarm? The things gonna get me killed. That's that's nice and clean. <coughs> All right, nice clean shoelace. Uh, oh, my bottle that I used uh, for my water for my cake. We'll need that and. One of these mason jars I found, you're gonna need the lid. Um, of course, screwdriver, always carry a screwdriver. And I have some rancid cooking oil I found. This is uh, organic extra virgin olive oil. So if your oil gets to the point where you can't really, you know, eat it anymore, hold on to it because you can still use it as a fuel. So these couple items. So first thing we're gonna do here is we need to trim off the ends of these shoelaces. You can chew them off, or if you have a knife, you can uh, cut them off. Uh, let me see if I can find a knife. Where's my knife? Oh, I left up there while I'm making the cake. Okay, I found my cake knife, so now that I'm making my cake, we can go ahead and use that to cut these ends off these shoelace here. Also, uh, as much as... Mm, you know what, I don't think we'll cut this. I don't think we need to cut this. We'll keep this intact. I'll say you could cut this in half if you wanted to and use the base for a, uh, uh, like a little reservoir, but we can just use that. Or you could just use this if you don't have anything else. So the next step is we're gonna wanna get some of this olive oil in here. Wasteful. This stuff's hard to get. And then we're going to take our clean shoelace here and make sure it's as clean as you can get it. And also, um, man-made fibers like polyester and stuff aren't going to work real good. So if you have natural ones, like cotton ones, if you don't, next time you run across some, get some. So what we're going to do is we'll put that in there, give it a good shake just like you're making a little salad or something because we want to get that shoestring coated in the oil okay next thing we do is with the bottle we want to put a hole in the top for our wick so there's many ways to do this you could just stab it if you want to just be very careful if you do that Okay. 
little bit bigger than I would have preferred, but that's okay. You can always bend a little bit of it back. Get yourself a nice place for the uh, wick to go through. Okay. We'll let this sit for a while while we look around for some other uh, treasures. And uh, then we'll come back and we'll finish this lamp before it gets totally dark. All right, so it's starting to get real dark now. So I put on some gloves because this is messy. We're going to take our wick that we pulled out of the oil. And we're going we're to put it through here. Now, you can push it through or you can pull it through, whatever uh, works easier for you. I think for me, we're going to pull it through. Put the rest of the wick in here. Make sure that these are evened up. This is when you can sort of push this down to make sure you're not moving. Make sure you don't cut yourself though. It's gonna be real easy to cut yourself if you're not careful. little bit sticking up from the top there okay so now that the messy parts over we're going to pour some oil in here save those gloves for later so we want to reuse the oil that we had in the little jug and then also we're going to add some more here now you can add as much or as little as you want when you're all done Put the ring on. Make sure it's sealed nice and tight. And there's our lamp. Let me find something to light it with. Where'd I put that lighter at? Okay, it took me a minute, but I found something that'll make fire. Let's go ahead and light this candle up. No, no, it's not like these must not have been natural fabric. These must have been polyester or something. I told you, you can't use man-made fabrics. It's got to be something natural. Oh, man. I don't have any more shoelaces. Uh, I got to go find something. Hold on a minute. Okay, I was able to find some cotton fabric inside. I just ripped this off of a shirt inside. I found it inside this house. So we got to pull this stupid wick out of here. That's not going to work. Put that back in our bottle. Now we got to remake our wick with this. Luckily, this is already clean. We're just going to run it back through here. We're going to have time to pre-soak it because it's almost dark. We're going to tie this off. So it doesn't pull through. And then you can adjust this as needed. So that's a really big wick. You're probably not gonna want yours to be that big. I gotta use my sock here to wipe my hands off. Keep having slippery hands. All right, we're gonna just mix this around so that the wick itself actually gets some oil on it. There's enough on the lid here from my mistake. Just get this all saturated. All right. And here, before it gets totally dark, let's light this up this time. Come on. Okay. No, 
this wick's a little big, it'll burn down, but this gives me a good amount of light for right now, so I can start searching. This type of candle, lantern, lamp, whatever you want to call it, like I said, you can fill it all with oil if you want to. This is the type of oil that even if it spills out, it's not going to, uh, you know, create like a fire, like a Molotov cocktail or something. It's just going to uh, burn real slow, so you have plenty of time to deal with it. Um, so don't be afraid uh, of carrying something like this around. You can see that this is already burnt down pretty quick. If uh, I'd let it get saturated with oil, it'll burn slower. More dense fabric rolled up tight or something is gonna work better, but this will work for now. It'll give me, you know, at least a little bit of time. I may have to change the wick out. It's gonna burn faster in the oil, but hey, you got yourself a light source now. Now, where's that clock that's ticking? Tick, tick, tick. Keep it together, Max. It's almost dark. So I thought it'd be fun to show how this is made. So basically, you've made yourself an oil lamp. Um, something that's great for post-apocalyptic games. Um, depending on the pieces you have, like a wine bottle, with a cork or something, I don't know. You probably adapt this to a medieval style game, um, but really, this is gonna be at home in the post-apocalypse. You can use everything from a uh, pop can or soda can, to a mason jar, to a tin, to a wine bottle, to anything that basically has a lid you can punch a hole in that isn't going to burn and will contain oil for you. Um, now I'm using uh, extra virgin olive oil, you can use regular lamp oil you can buy at the store, but if you want to keep it sort of true to form, you don't want to get yourself something like this. The more wick you have, the brighter it will burn. Um, the less you have, it will just be a low source of light. And like I said, you can pull this wick up through. I did the polyester shoelace at first, so you could see for yourself that that does not work. Any man materials like that, they're just going to melt. They're not going to burn. This was a uh, piece of cotton, I believe. Um, so it will burn and like I said all you gotta do is just uh, pull a more wick out when you're ready and you can just light it back up again and it'll keep burning so I might be able to get you know 20 minutes out of something like this um, it all depends on the type of fuel and the type of wick that you use this is pretty stable because like I said the olive oil doesn't create like a flash uh, fire or anything um, in fact the olive oil by itself is actually not really that flammable at all um, so you don't really have to be concerned about this getting knocked over or spilling now it is obviously an open source of fire so you do want to be careful if you're messing with this especially at a game you cannot leave this unattended um, however if you're going for a little bit of uh, you know immersion or background something like this would be great at a table while you're eating um, keep in mind it is very messy so have something um, to wipe your hands on um, whether it's a sock or whatever um, just to keep your hands clean uh, because having slippery fingers um, in the apocalypse is gonna be real rough if you're trying to grasp objects or whatever you're doing um, you're gonna slip right off of them so just be real careful with this um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm always here trying to give you cool ideas for your game to you know, create more immersion. And some of this stuff has you know, a dual purpose. I mean, if your lights ever go out of your house, you're found without power for some reason, something like this made out of household items uh, can give you a source of light for a little while. You know, So in any sort of survival situation, something like this would be very smart as well. But I think also, Super cool for LARP or even camping or anything like that. I don't know. Um, it's an open source fire. You can use it for whatever you want to. I think post apocalyptic LARP would be pretty cool uh, for something like this. <clears throat> I have merchandise. I have what I think is a pretty cool uh, shirt design out. There will be more to come in the future. If you want to check out my merchandise, I'll have a link down below. Next time, hopefully, I'll have some to show. Um, it's through Teespring. I'm not sure what the quality of their clothing is, but I know a lot of people use them, so I assume it's pretty high quality stuff. Um, there will be sales from time to time, so always keep an eye on that merch page. Um, anything you buy in there helps support the channel, helps support what I do. And uh, 
like I said, I just really hope that you like the video. I hope that you like this lantern. If you give it a try, let me know. Um, but really, this is more just for um, entertainment, education purposes. You really, you probably should not try this at home ever because it's super dangerous because it's fire and sharp objects. All right. <laughs> Until next time, adventure on. And it smells like burning olive oil, so that's a plus, I guess. It's not too bad for a light source, actually. <laughs>